Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Amazon Warrior. Uh, I think that was the sequel, but there we go. We're doing the first one here. Um, so this was released in 1985, I think. It might, no, it wasn't four. Yeah, it was definitely five. Um... As you can see, it is by Jeff Sumner, and it was published by New Generation Software. Uh, now, before I start, um, I mean, I realise that I do, you know, something which uh, many people consider, you know, outrageous and totally unforgivable, which is that uh, as a white heterosexual male, I actually show my face in my videos, you know. Uh, which are uploaded to a uh, publicly uh, you know, accessible uh, forum in the, the guise of uh, YouTube. Which means, of course, you know, I am absolutely uh, showing myself to be you know, racist, sexist, homophobic and everything else from the fact that, you know, here I am, I'm I'm not black, I'm not Asian, I'm not gay, and I'm not a woman. Fucking hell, how dare I fucking show my face anywhere. But yeah, I do it. Um, but also, uh, earlier today, uh, I got a comment on one of my uh, reviews. Um, I think it was Crackout. And, uh, yeah, this anonymous fuck all nobody uh, said I should stop doing videos. So there you go, that's this channel now finished. So, uh, ta-da. <laughs> yeah. I believe there's a four-word phrase uh, that, you know, sort of starting to appear in my mind as to how to respond to uh, uh, such a comment. But it eludes me. Anyway, um... So, on with the actual uh, game here. Now, a few years ago, I did a review of the Amiga game Wrath of the Demon, which I described as being the most blatant and shameless fucking rip-off of a previous game. Uh, that being, in the case of that one, uh, Shadow of the Beast. But I was wrong. There is a far more blatant uh, game rip-off uh, out there. This one. Uh, if you're not familiar with Amazon Warrior, then you're going to find that this looks awfully familiar. Um, I'm pretty sure you will all know the game that this is a completely shameless fucking utterly blatant rip-off of. So, well, uh, this game is fucking difficult. I can't get anywhere in it. I'm, I'm absolutely fucking hopeless. But the point is that I just... I can't believe, actually, that this game even exists. I don't know how the fuck he got away with this. But uh, here we go. Uh, I'll... Um, I'll definitely play it a beginner because, say, I'm fucking hopeless at it. Uh, we'll get the intro sequence. See if you can spot where you may have seen something like it before. I mean, you've almost got to admire the fucking nerve this cunt has. Anyway, so the game has started. So you are this Amazon warrior and you are running around here through this forest, uh, sorry, a uh, jungle. Um, and trying to, yeah, aim your uh, blowpipe is fucking difficult at the best of times. So, yeah, I think in all of my warm-up goes, I've managed to hit two of these fucking snakes. I don't really know why snakes are fucking falling from the sky, you know, it's, it's raining snakes. 
And the problem is that when you fire your uh, dart, when you miss, which you will, um, you don't have time to do fuck all else. Oh, I fucking hit one. And then I died as I was reloading the fucking blowpipe. Now, aiming is nowhere near as sophisticated here in this game as it is in another game I could mention. Uh, here, you just move left or right and hope that uh, yeah, it means he's firing the right way. Fucking hell, I managed to avoid that snake. That's the first time I've been able to do that. And, oh, fucking hell. So I've hit two snakes, but I think that was my last life. I say think, because there is nowhere on screen that shows you how many fucking lives you've got. Just, uh, nowhere fucking near. So there are seven stages to this game. Um, I haven't got the remotest clue what stage two onwards look like, as well, I'm sure that would have hit it, but it just went straight fucking through it. Alright, so re do the uh, blowpipe and fucking right, let's try again. Oh, fuck yeah. And I'll tell you now, if, if you're hoping to see, you know, additional levels and, and shit like that, yeah, you're not going to. I, I have never got even close to getting off level one. And I don't know how many of these snakes you have to fucking kill. But uh, I do know it's more than two. Because two is the most I've ever been able to uh, get. And that's because that's what I did in the last go. That was the best I've ever done. And yeah. Where are these cunts at? So, I've, where do I start? I mean, if I'm trying to find something positive to say about the game, it's this. The scrolling is really nice. And uh, there is the parallax scrolling effect. Just like uh, a certain other game. So yeah, the scrolling's good. That's about it. I mean, graphics, okay, the graphics are not great, but, uh, okay, let's mention Forbidden Forest, because this is a fucking shameless fucking rip-off of Forbidden Forest. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the background graphics are a blatant fucking copy. Um, you could almost say that uh, the uh, actual way the main character looks is also a blatant copy. And obviously the colour scheme is different. And oh, instead of a uh, bow and arrow, he's got a blowpipe. So here you go. <laughs> variation there but the graphic style is identical and it's not as if they weren't able to get you know more sophisticated graphics when this game came out this game came out in 85 so graphics were yeah you know, they, they were capable of being better than this can't I've already got two fucking snakes. Um, then, right, the audio. Again, it's fucking obvious that he is just, you know, blatantly copying um, Paul Norman. in terms of, you know, 
uh, the actual sound as well as the style. I mean, there's just nothing that even comes close to being original. And there's no attempt being made to make it original. Except that uh, everything is far more rudimentary than it was in um, Forbidden Forest. You know, there's only three colours on your sprite. Well, Forbidden Forest had more uh, colours on the main sprite there, and that was a game that was written a, a year earlier. Um, the backgrounds, the variety is very limited. Uh, as you see it uh, scroll past, you realise that it's actually quite a small area that just keeps repeating. Nowhere near as uh, large as the uh, sort of setting in uh, Forbidden Forest. Um, as far as the music, I mean, it might be that there are different pieces of music for each level, but of course I've never got off this fucking level, so I don't know. Um, but given how rudimentary everything else is in the game, I'd be surprised. get away with it. Oh, fuck it out. And then the gameplay, well I've ramped the difficulty up a hell of a lot. Oh, okay. So yeah, it is far more fucking difficult than uh, uh, Forbidden Forest. Uh, Forbidden Forest is enjoyable because they got the difficulty levels sort of sorted out so it was challenging without being you know stupidly hard. Yeah they didn't do that with this. Now they did actually admit that uh, this uh, Jeff Sumner here was familiar with uh, Forbidden Forest but apparently he only saw the game once. I'm not making this up, this is actually what they said. He only saw the game once and he thought he could do better. He wanted to do his own version. And this is what we got. But, like I say, it's, it's so rudimentary in just about every fucking department. It doesn't, it, it's nowhere near as sophisticated as Forbidden Forest. And let's be quite frank. It's not as if Forbidden Forest is a particularly sophisticated game. I mean, it came out in 84 for fuck's sake, you know, there's, there's only so much you could really do. Oh, fuck that right up. So it is a shameless fucking rip-off, which is inferior in every fucking way. Um... It's not much fun to play because it's fucking boring. The controls are a bit fucking fiddly, to put it mildly. So you have to press uh, up to uh, load the blowpipe. And then, yeah, you got to just almost hope when you're trying to aim by just moving left and right. There's none of this changing the uh, angle that you fire at like there is in the, uh, you know, original game. Oh, for fuck's sake. And just about every time you miss, that's, that's pretty much, you know, that, that's my life lost. Well, I think that's three I've, uh, <coughs> taken out here. And that's also my last life. But yeah, if you hold up to, uh, change the blowpipe or to load the blowpipe you start moving and then you hold up again and he carries on running the controls haven't been very well implemented so it is not good <laughs> as if that's gonna surprise anybody um, so with, with 
frustrating, annoying gameplay. Uh, rudimentary uh, visuals that clearly try to copy Forbidden Forest. And, well, yeah, <laughs> it's just not as good. The audio is probably the most blatant copy of all. Um, but again, not as good. It's it's a fucking shameless em you know, effort, this. I really do not know how the fuck they got away with it. Ah, I mistimed it, and uh, another fucking life lost. So, okay. it would help if I'd actually load the, uh, loaded the blowpipe with me. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's quite enough of that, I think. So, there we go, Amazon Warrior for Commodore 64. Um... It's just a blatant Forbidden Forest rip-off, which is inferior in every way. I score it 2 out of 10. I think I'm being a bit generous with that, but uh, yeah, maybe I'm in a generous mood or something. So, um, yes, Amazon Warrior for Commodore 64. 2 out of 10. It's an outrageous rip-off. Ignore this piece of shit. Uh, play the, uh, the the proper game. Forbidden Forest is superior in every way. Uh, that brings this review to an end. And we'll see you at the next one.